Hey, Paul. Uh, good to see you. I'm glad we got that fixed. Um, we haven't, we've talked to several people this week, but haven't asked a ton about the team dinner that you guys had Tuesday night. What, what was the tone of that, and what can you share uh, about what was said that night? Just a team dinner, you know, camaraderie, getting together and, you know, just having a great meal and good conversation. It's pretty much all it is. We do it every year before the playoffs. Um, it was a good time. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Paul, I'm I'm curious. I, I saw that Jamal is back in Denver. Obviously, that, that means he'll be around the team or on the bench. Just what does that do? for this team to have his energy and maybe him as another coach for you guys during this run. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad you know that. And I don't, I had no idea he was back in there, you know. Well, he posted on his Instagram, so that's. Oh, I, haven't been on, I haven't been on Instagram for a little bit, so <laughs> I guess I guess that's on me. But, you know, just to have him around, you know, his presence um, and his ideas and the things that he see. Um, but mostly, you know, just to have him on a bench and, you know, just to see his face and, you know, have him in good spirits is just um, uplifting for us. Kyle Fredrickson, Denver Post. Hey, Paul, you know, kind of a big picture question here for you. When you think about your pursuit of a championship in this league and sort of how your role has adjusted this year and, and shifted to more coming off the bench, do you sort of look at that as kind of a willing sacrifice to get where you want to be with some of the changes this team has made? Or, or has it been challenging at times to, to kind of shift to that role? I mean, of course, there's challenges that come with it. Um, I'm a competitor. I want to compete. I want to play every single minute, you know, during the game, you know, but um, that's not possible. And, you know, that's what you have a team for. And um, for me, you know, I've, I've always been a guy to, you know, whatever the team needs. You know, if you need me to be come off the bench, I come off the bench. You need me to play point guard, I play point guard. You need me to, you know, whatever, you know, I, I'll do that. So um, that's always been my attitude. And I'm always about winning first before my own ego. Saltos. Hello, Paul. Hope you are doing well. What did you notice as the biggest strength of your team this season and how how you prepared yourself for the game one as one of the most important games of that series? Definitely our biggest strength is our, um, our depth. You know, we got a bunch of guys that can play and be inserted at um, any position. You know, we're, we're a very versatile team. Um, and um, we, we just look to get out there and just play our game in game one. You know, we're, we're not going to do anything special. We're going to play our game. You know, we're going to do what, what got us, you know, uh, that's, that's made us successful, you know, during the past. And uh, we're not going to change too much of that. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Paul. Obviously, these two teams have played over the course of these past few years and had the 2019 playoff series. What do you, what what has changed most drastically between that series and now for you and for the team? And what can you expect? Is is there anything you can draw on from that series before? Um, not a whole lot, but you know, feelings. You know, the feeling of losing to him in Game Seven here at home um, still sticks with us a little bit. Um, but you know, the things that change is you know us being into playoffs last year and, and making it to the Western Conference Finals. I think that's a big change. You know, the, the experience that we gained, you know, in the bubble um, through that whole playoff run, you know, was was unbelievable. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Uh, hey, Paul. Um, just, just what are the keys for you guys in this series? What, what do you guys want to get accomplished to be able to, to overcome Portland in this series? Keys? Um, don't do anything that's not us. Pretty much. You know, be us. That's the key. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Paul, can you speak to where can you speak to the team's mindset after losing Jamal? Obviously, expectations changed and then you guys reel off 13 and five to close the year. Can you speak to where your guys heads at going into this series? Whose expectation changed? Uh, I, I, our expectation didn't change. You know, uh, we, we missed one of our guys um, due, due to injury, but our mentality has not changed at all. You know, we, we're still in it to win um, a, a NBA championship and um, that's not going to change at all. It doesn't matter who we lose. Kyle Fredrickson, Denver Post. Hey, Paul, one obvious difference from 2019 to this series is uh, Nurkic being healthy. 
what makes him sort of a unique challenge to defend? Um, he's a big body, um, strong roller to the basket, uh, physical rebounder. Um, you know, those, those are the challenges that he brings, you know, but um, yeah, that, I mean, that is a difference. You know, he does make a big difference for the team. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Paul, just to follow up on the keys, um, how significant is rebounding considering how good of an offensive rebounding team they are? It's kind of one of their staples. It's, it's been a key to our success over the years. You know, um, when we are rebound teams, you know, we, we typically win. And um, that's definitely going to be a point of emphasis going into this game. You know, they got some really good offensive rebounders, some elite offensive rebounders. And um, we're going to have to do a great job of keeping them off the glass. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.